Okay, everybody, thank you for being here. It is now just about 12 p.m. Central Time. I know we have some people in Southern California. We have some people on Eastern Time. Um, I'm definitely glad that you are here. This is, I'm gonna tell you how this actually got started. For those of you that are watching on the Zoom presentation, make sure you put all of your questions inside of the chat. If you are inside of the live presentation, inside of the group, please definitely check in there as well. Let me know where you're checking in from, how long you have been a travel professional, things of that nature. Now, this actually got started because I was working with um, another agent and I mentioned about how you know I was just working on my page and working on my Facebook Messenger, you know, making sure the automated messages was set up. She was like, "Oh, you mean like mini chat?" And I was like, "No." I said, "Why pay for something that's totally free?" So I tried to walk her through it, and it didn't quite work, mainly because I think she was clicking the wrong things. Because you know we're doing this over the cell phone, so I figured, you know what? Why not go ahead and just do a video recording? That way, not only can I show her, but I can show anybody else that wants to take advantage of being able to use your Facebook um, the Facebook bot. I call it the bot, but it's your messenger services. But what this will allow you to do is to set up, we're going to show you how to set up automated services. I'm going to show you how to set up frequently asked questions and whatever else pops up as we're going through it. Now, the screen that you see up here is my Facebook um, page page, where it shows you all of the different pages that I have. But right now, we're just going to focus on Platinum Travels, which is my travel agent page. So right now, this is, this is my business page, how it looks when um, other people jump in, when I look at it. If you want to see, if you ever want to see what your business page looks like when new people come to your page, you want to come to here, click here, and then you want to view as a page visitor. I highly suggest that you do that because it looks very different compared to when you're jumping in it and looking at it. And you want to see what your page visitors are really seeing. And if this is something that is actually, you know, um, I don't want to say good looking, but appealing to when people come in, you know? So what I'm going to show you how is, let me see, where is it? It's not that. Okay. So I'm going to show you basically um, how I set up some of these things when it comes to the messenger. Uh, make sure that if you are watching this live throughout through the event page to so put your comments and questions you might have inside of the chat. So this is what my page looks like, right? Now, what I'm going to go back is I'm going to go back to manage the page. And sometimes you do have to click this several times before it actually uh, goes back. I don't know why it does this. I got to do this a couple of times to get it to go back to the page. Okay, so we're just gonna hit the back arrow. That actually works a lot faster than trying to hit the switch back page because it does not switch back. Okay, so I think we're here now. Nope, one more time. Keep saying view public. Oh, you're killing me. Is it doing it? Nope, it went all the way back. I have this trouble all the time with Facebook trying to get it to do what I want it to do. So, as you can see, this is real life. So, okay, so it's pulling back up. And one of the things you want to go to is um, once it fully loads up and everything, what you want to go to is you want to go to, I go to settings first. And then um, settings is really where everything is going to be for everything you need to do to update your page. The first thing we want to go to is messaging. Many people go straight to advanced messaging. And I think that's where I lost my other agent, my friend. I think that's where I lost her. She went to advanced messaging. So we're going to go to messaging. Now, many of you may not have Messenger actually turned on. Now, what happens with Messenger when this actually gets turned on is that when somebody goes to your website, Messenger should automatically pop up to allow people to communicate with you. Now I had the return keys, I have it sent on, that is just a personal preference for myself. Now when um, starting a messenger conversation, you wanna show a greeting, I highly suggest that you go ahead and show that greeting, it's show a greeting or something like that when it pops up. You can honestly say whatever you want, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You can put whatever you want in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some personal, personalization in here, which I think is really great to do. Now, as you can see, there's several different things that you can set up in here. 
from the first name, last name, full name, the recipient. Um, you can put your Facebook page link, choose what website you want from your settings, phone numbers, and so much more. So you just want to make sure that that's put in there. So now what happens is when somebody click, come, clicks on my messenger or when it pops up, they have a question, this is what they get. You click save and everything is set up. Now you can also set up automated responses. You can also see who's sending messages um, on behalf of your page. Now, honestly, you only need to have that on if you are working this, if there's several people managing your page. Some people actually pay for people to monitor their Facebook pages. Many of you probably do not need that service yet, but if you make your personal page an admin to your business page, you wanna go ahead and set this up. That way when they communicate and they have, um, when they start communicating with them, they can see exactly who's communicating with them, whether it's me or whether it's actually actually platinum travels or whatever your business name is actually set up. But what I'm going to show you first is we're going to go to automated responses right here. Now remember, we went to messaging and then we went to automated responses. This is where the key part is. And this is when I had so much fun the other day um, setting all of this up. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of what's available here. So now this is a part of your inbox. Now some of the things you have is you have an instant reply. Now that is what I automatically have turned on. So basically when somebody goes to my page or clicks message me, this is what they're going to get. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. We're going to edit this. Now one of the great things that I like about this is the fact that besides the fact that it's instant that you can do so much more with your responses. Now some of these things can also be added as frequently asked questions. So this does show up on your page. I'm still figuring out where on a, um, the regular person side versus our side. But what happens here is that on the top right hand side, I've seen it with the frequently asked questions. What happens is, is that you have a question. So wherever the question is, like for instance, one of them is, does it cost more to use a trial professional, which for us is a very, very commonly asked question. So I asked that put that inside of the box. As you can see on this side, what happens is when someone goes into your messenger, these questions pop up. Now somebody can go ahead and click ask, and then they're going to get the response that I put there. So like whatever your specialty is, like I know I see Ryan is on here watching from on the event page live, he specializes um, mainly in cruises. So he might have a question based off of cruises that a client might ask. Now remember, your question one is from your client's perspective, not from yours. I had that backwards before and I had to change everything. Again, you can add tons of personalization in here as well. So if you do have an offsite website or if you have travel joy, anything like that, and you wanna insert say maybe a booking link, you can even try to add that in there. You can add attachments which can be photos you can do videos if you have any kind of promotional in, um, things that you want to put inside there so you can add those as well you can also have a button now the button is basically um, a call to action type situation so say for instance your question is somebody wants to know well how do I book with you well you can have a button here that says book now and then you can put whatever link you want to put there again this is a great place for you to put your booking link, if you use Travel Joy or anything else, if you have like an online document that people can use, this is a great place to put it right then and there. Now, I didn't choose that one for this question because as they're asking, does it cost more to use a trial professional? And I answered their question pretty simply. Then I have a second question. How does using a travel agent work? Now, I definitely answered the question pretty easily, but I also have a video in here, which basically is a video that I took from the website that I'm building that kind of breaks down what a travel agent does. Um, and I'm gonna show you what this looks like from a messenger side as well. And then you can add to the menu. Now, this menu is what you see right here. And you can add as many questions as you want. Um, I've only did maybe two for this one. I haven't really thought of a third question to put in here yet. So we're gonna go ahead and click save and everything is basically right there. You have questions and then you have a menu. The menu is basically will pop up at the bottom when they swipe up. This is what it actually will look like. Now, these are also gonna go under frequently asked questions. Did you see how now it says frequently asked questions? It's because I added it to the menu for people to have. But if I go back to my instant reply, it's actually still there. My instant reply right here is basically when somebody comes to my site, this is what it says. It basically says, hi, first, first and last name. Thank you for contacting me. We look forward to booking your next amazing vacation. How can we help you? And as you can see, I have too many W's, too many E's in my weave. 
So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna delete that out. And then that's basically it. Being the fact that I jumped somehow to um, questions, I'm not even sure how I got to the questions, it does this, so pay attention when it does this. So now we're gonna preview a messenger. So now it just popped up in my messenger and it popped up on my phone and here, here's what it looks like. Give it a second, it's gonna pull up all my messengers for Platinum Live. So this is what it looks like in my messenger. And you can do this for yourself to see what it looks like. And as you can see, I've been testing it. So it has it near and is asking me basically, you know, look low forward to you. And I'm just going to type in test. And that's basically what it's going to look like when it comes down to an instant message. Now I'm going to show you everything because, you know, Facebook is a little confusing sometimes, especially when it comes to um, how it all works. I'm going to break everything down as much as possible in here. So even though we started with instant reply, because I had questions, I had add questions in here, it jumped over to frequently asked questions. Now let's just say you're going to be a way and you're not going to be able to answer questions because you may be going on a vacation or something like that. You can even set up an away message if you choose. Now you can edit your schedule. If you want to turn it on when you're away, this is great if you have office hours set up and say you're not available after, say, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can actually set up a schedule between 8 and whenever you choose to open up. It'll send people to let them know that you are, you're, you're away at this time. So they know that you can't see the messages. You're still going to get a notification and you can still choose to respond. But that's totally up to you. Now, I have obviously my frequently asked questions and I'm going to show you what this looks like on the page again. Then you have your contact information. Um, now, there's going to be keywords that people can say when they ask for like your contact information. This is how I set mine up. So when somebody basically asks Access to the contact information, this is what they're going to get. This is how I um, edit it to go ahead and look like. Then I have my website for them to go ahead and visit my website because definitely you want them to go to your website. I leave my location off because I don't need them to know where I am. That's really not important to me. Um, we don't use job applications. Now, sometimes if you set your page up, and this matter, you can have appointments reminders set up. Now, this is great for people who um, want to set up appointments with their potential clients to do any kind of consultations or anything. Did you know that they can actually set up appointments through your business page? So you can start using this as a uh, as a website and a, um, a calendar view, sorry. My brain's a little out of it. I didn't sleep very well and um, my throat's kind of bothering me. Then you can also have, this is basically reminders that said happen automatically before they have a confirmed appointment. You have another one for an appointment follow up. You can also choose when you want them to send this follow up appointment. So basically, so say we have an appointment, I can have them send it one day after we spoke and I could choose it. This is what they've already, what they automatically chose. Um, you could choose one hour, one day, you could change this number one week. This is basically how you keep them engaged and how you keep up with the follow-ups and make sure that they remember you. Um, this does it automatically for you. So, you know, it only makes sense to do this. Let me go ahead and save it. There's the save button. You can also do a page recommend. So if somebody recommends your page anywhere on Facebook, they're going to automatically get this message that you see thanking them from recommending them and, you know, glad, saying, you know, the really glad experience. People want to be recognized. People want to be thanked. People want to be called out for what they're doing when they're doing great stuff, you know? So this is a good, easy way to do it without even having to remember, remember how to do it. Um, they also have page not recommend, um, not recommended. So if somebody doesn't recommend your page, you can also set something up, to, you know, to say, I'm so sorry you had a bad experience, but guess what? Everyone's going to recommend your page because your page is the bomb. So with your, with your Facebook, I will tell you this, to manage your Facebook page, I do highly suggest that you download the Facebook page um, app on your phone. Um, Facebook is not perfect. And sometimes I find that I have better interactions with my page when I'm using my app on the go. But there are certain things such as this you have to do on a laptop. You cannot do this on your mobile phone. It is easier and much better to do it on your um, business, on the um, Facebook page, actually on the laptop. Um, for some of you, you may not know that you can actually connect your Instagram page that you have, if it's business related, to your travel page. The reason why I highly suggest doing that is because when you post to your Instagram, it'll actually cross post to your business page. So you don't have to necessarily worry about trying to get everything posted on all your different places and all that at the same time. This is actually is a time saver for you. 
So this is actually like in your inbox. You have all your messengers, all your messenger messengers, um, Instagram direct, and so much more. So we're going to go back to settings real quick because I want to show you something. Hopefully this is great information for you. So we went through the messenger. We're going to go back to messaging again. And then we're going to scroll down to, where did I want to scroll down to? So if you have a website outside of, excuse me, outside of maybe your host website, you can also add your, your messenger to your website. And what that means is that when somebody goes to your website, they can actually, actually message you through Facebook Messenger that's gonna come to your phone faster than if you was to set up a third party app on your website for messages that might be complicated. Everything will go straight here. Uh, so we're gonna set up automated responses because I don't think I don't think I did this with this page. I worked on another page, but I didn't do it on this page because I think I didn't do it on purpose so I could walk you through it. Um, so put me on away messages, but I believe the automated responses is just the instant reply and the frequently asked questions. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my page and I'm gonna see if I can find those frequently asked questions on the page because I've seen it on my other page, but I haven't seen it on here. I purposely did not do a lot on this page because I wanted to walk through it with you guys at the same time. So uh, let's see, page tips. Also another tip, invite your friends. Um, what you can do is you click this button and it'll allow you to invite all of your friends that you have off of Facebook to come like your page, to like and follow your page. Uh, where is my frequently asked questions? I may have to redo the page. Now, one of the things I want you to understand, depending on how your page is actually designed, the layout of your page will, design, will decide what actually can be seen on your page and where things are. Now, I know on one of my other pages, it is definitely, it is definitely there. Um, one of the, another thing I wanna show you is when it comes to, Facebook Messenger, when you actually are writing a post and if you want people to be able to respond to you quickly, click this button here, get messages. What this does is it sets it up where it has your business cover photo and it allows people to go ahead and send you a message immediately. So we're gonna do this as a test because I'm gonna delete it afterwards just so, I can, just so you can actually see what it looks like when it gets posted. And let's go find it. So. There's so many posts, what I tend to do is I go straight to posts so I can see the post quickly. So this is just what it looks like. So when somebody wants to send a message, they click send message and guess what? There you go. There go your, there go your um, Facebook Messenger, there goes your um, instant reply, and there goes your menu that you can ask questions. So here, look, how does using a travel agent work? These are really great to set up pre-set up messages. As you can see, it's popping up all over my screen. So I have a short video that I use with my website that I'm building that's coming soon. It basically gives them a video of how a travel agent works. So remember, if you have questions, comments, you know, put them in your chat if you're on Zoom or put it inside of the live. But that's basically it when it comes to your messenger. It's very simple. It's very easy. What I am going to do is I'm going to go back to my pages and I'm going to show you what my other page looks like because that's where, and I think it's because the layout is totally different. That's why it looks different as far as where those frequently asked questions is. Um, this is my marketing page and I have, where I've seen it on here where those frequently asked questions showed up. They were on the right hand side of the page. Why can't I find it now? Let me see if I change how I view it. Cause it was on there the other day. I've been working on all my pages for the past couple of days. There it is, Ask Lady, Tisha Lady Spencer. So do you remember when, I, when we were talking about those uh, frequently asked questions that you saw inside of the, um, inside of the chat uh, when we did those questions and everything? This is where they show up on my page. I have to figure out how I got it here. And I think it's because my template is different. My template for my travel page is actually movies. And I'm not sure what, I think this one here is actually um, brand or person. So I think that's why this is like that. So I need to change my brand so I can, so I can have these questions here. Um, Raquel, Ra Raquel asks, where did I find that video that popped up? That is a video that is actually part of my website that I'm getting built. It comes with a whole bunch of videos. If you wanna know more about that, um, either send me a message or um, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment and I'll go ahead and let you know how you can get these videos and get your website set up and everything. Um, but I think it's because this is set up as a brand, but look, 
see how it pops up and the question is there and see how it automatically answers. This is why I think it's very important to use the Facebook bots because they're free. And yes, they're a little time consuming to get started to make sure everything goes great. But look how easy that is. You know, somebody could question, ask a question, send you a message. You're not even paying attention to what's going on. You could be having your morning coffee or having dinner with your family. And guess what? You're responding automatically to them. Now, many of you have gone to different business pages, have gone to different websites, suppliers and stuff like that. And you've seen this happen. Now, I just showed you how you can do this too. So you can go ahead and do it. Now, I have a video set up in here and it's the same thing that you can do so for instance if you are um if you are if you have videos of you doing your travels if you have videos that you may have put together or whatever you can actually add this right into the messenger so people can go ahead and watch the videos so i'm gonna go back to my actual business page i'm gonna close this out um maria um i, I like i told raquel um, just send me a message offline and I will show you how to get access to those videos is actually again a part of a website that I'm having built and it's one of the tools that is included inside of the entire program. It's not something that is downloaded because at the end of the video it actually has my information in it. So you can't really download the video and try to use it yourself because my contact information is going to be at the end. So I think that's everything that I should, sh I, well, I mean, I could show you so much more. Some of you know, I love to show people things. I definitely need to go back and um, fix my settings. I wanna show you what the advanced messaging looks like. And this is why people get confused and they say, oh my goodness, I can't figure out how this works. They go to advanced messaging. And I'm gonna show you what's inside of advanced messaging. Now it looks, it looks the same, it does. But see, as you can see here, connected apps. This is if you have any kind of apps connected to your page. I don't have any apps connected to my page at all. Um, so this, so that's why that is basically blank. Now this is the whitelist. So this is basically, so remember how I was saying how you can have your messenger on your website, or if you put your web messenger on inside of something, a third party, you have to whitelist that domain. So once my website is done, I'm gonna whitelist it here. So it'll show up on my website because the people that are designing it, let me know I'm gonna have to do this once they finish and um, once they finish doing it. Sorry I'm saying um so much, that's a pet peeve for me. Um, then you can have um, requested features. This is basically a pay uh, um, to send one message to people, a messenger that may fall outside of the 24 hour messaging window. A lot of times the automation won't let you do a whole lot of messages um, back to back. So this is kind of letting you do that. And then these are for people who are going to be getting high value messages. So basically, if you if you know that you're going to be sending a lot of messages through your messenger in a very short period of time, so you don't get um, put into Facebook jail, as they say, you will go ahead and you will learn more about that. Many of us are not really doing that because we don't want people to lose access to the page. And, you know, so we don't really do that. So I'm getting a question from the Zoom and I answered the first one. No, you cannot link your host page to your Facebook. Well, okay, put it this way. If you're talking about just adding the website, yes. Can you add, are you, if you're talking about putting your messenger to your host page, more than likely no, depending on who your host is. Because again, various people, various travel agencies with various hosts are uh, watching this. So it just depends on your host. I know for the agency that I'm with and many of you are with, no, we cannot make any alterations because that requires putting HTML into the site. Um, now, honestly, there, there's no reason to link your personal Facebook page to your business page. There's no reason to link those two together. I think you, what you're really asking is how do you market your business page on your personal page? All you have to do is when you go to your page and you want to share something that you did, make sure that you are sharing it as your personal page and then just share it to your personal page. You know what I mean? You don't have to link anything together. Uh, there was something else I wanted to show you. Since you keep talking about um, websites, I'm going to show you. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, there's another chat question. Can you please repeat the Facebook app to download? Um, there's no Facebook app to download. This is all inside your back office. I didn't download anything to use any of this. This is in your back office free of charge. So there's actually nothing to download. Now, again, if you are, if you do have your own personal website that you got built, you have to put the HTML code from Facebook into your website 
but I have I have somebody building my website and I went through the steps on side of Facebook business manager, which is a whole different training to actually to get that information. And then that information will you'll give to your designer unless you know HTML to add it to your page. But there's actually no app to download. But Oh, I, wait, wait, I take that back, Terry. I know what you're talking about, Facebook Page Messenger. It's your Facebook Page Manager inside of your Android or if you're Apple, you can download that to manage um, all of your apps. I'm sorry, I forgot about that one. Um, making sure I'm checking both sides because I got my phone looking at the live stream and I'm looking at the Zoom stream. But what I wanted to show you was, bum, 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 bum. where is it at? Not page, edit page info. I wanted to show you where to put your website. Uh, because of the coronavirus, you can have an update. I don't have an update because nothing's actually changed for me. But this is where you put your, your website, a destination URL. This is where you put your website. Whatever your website name is, this is what you put. And yes, you can use redirects because I know a lot of people use a, re a redirect or a mask to cover their um, host agency's website. If they don't have their own, you could put it here and it definitely works. Um, and that's why that will show up in everything that you do. When you talk about web, when you want to put, you know, the, uh, the website inside the messenger, that's the website that's actually going to show up unless you choose something different inside of it. But that's, ba that's basically it. I do have a training on my um, YouTube channel and on side of the event page is actually a link to the YouTube channel that shows you how to set up your Facebook business page if you have not done so kind of walks you through some of the key things that you need to do but that is basically it when it comes to it um, I thank everybody for showing up today and looking at this information again this is going to be uploaded to my YouTube channel I do have to make one change and make sure that the layout for this page is actually correct I do I do go ahead and highly suggest that you know I know everyone loves doing their live videos on their personal page start doing your live videos on your travel page if they are travel based because it will definitely help you um, Raquel, I will post the YouTube page um, inside of the group. It's actually in the group in the event page. And if you're watching this on YouTube, yay, you found it. <laughs> uh, but basically, this is what it looks like. There's a lot that you can do that you can get so much interaction from here. And the reason why I highly suggest you having a Facebook business page, besides the fact that you are a business, is that you don't want to do everything on side of your personal page because I know for some people it is an overkill for your followers and for yourself because it's hard for people sometimes to differentiate the difference between being a business person and being their regular person you know so sometimes you need a space to do it differently and with Facebook they definitely want you to go ahead and um, have a business page because here's where you can do ads. We'll do a training on ads in an, at another time. Um, you can do offers. Uh, I'm gonna show you this last thing because I found this. I didn't. I mean, I knew about it, but I wasn't paying attention to it. So many of you, and I'm gonna use Ryan as an example because I know he does this all the time. Ryan always has cruises. Always, he's always marketing a cruise somewhere or on some cruise line, right? Did you know? that you can actually put your offer inside of your business page and create a business store. So people can come here and actually see everything that needs to be done. And if you have a booking page like Travel Joy or a document, online document or anything like that, you can send them here. So what I do is you change this and I always go to customize because none of the other ones technically really work for us. So you can customize it. You can put any kind of offer description you want. You can add a more detailed description up to a thousand characters. You can choose when it expires, where they can um, redeem this. Most of the time for us, we're gonna redeem this online. And then if there's a promo code involved that you wanna create or whatever, even if it's just as a tracking code, to just so you know where these people are coming from, you can put that in there. And then I got to scroll on this side. There we go. We have a primary action. So this can be whatever you want to do. Now, when you finish this, obviously all of this is going to be filled out with pictures and everything. You can publish this to your page. You can even boost it like an ad. And I'll show people how to do boosting um, ad boosts later. We're going to discard the offer. And what happens is it shows up in your offer section. Now you see, now these are some of the offers that I already have set up already set up and already done. Um, you can use any kind of pictures, videos that you want, and let's go Virgin Voyages, just so you can see what it looks like, right? 
So this is what it looks like. Join us here. You know, it's a beautiful picture. How many just want to take a photo shoot right here in all your various different colors? Um, but here you go. You can shop now. You have a little bit of information about it. You can see more here. Now, when they click shop now, this is what happens. Because I use Travel Joy, it's going to automatically go to my booking page. So people can go through, see everything, make a reservation, and boom. I got a booking, everybody. So, and then, you know, people can share this to other places if they wanted to. They can share in a private message. They can share in a timeline. And I think this is a great way, especially if you do not have a, um, if you do not have an actual website where you can feature any trips that you might have coming up, or maybe these are trips you're trying to get people to be more involved in. And sometimes it's a little bit harder um, to do when you're trying to market your own trips to keep having to go through Facebook groups. So did I post it in this group? How many event pages am I trying? Just do it from your business page, share this to your business page and make sure everybody, last tip, I swear, I swear this is last tip. If you have groups, right? If you are part of travel groups that you manage or other travel groups, make sure that you manage those groups. Because when you manage those groups, guess what, everybody? You can post in those groups as your business page. And then you can share things to those business pages as well. So hopefully, everybody got some good information out of this. I'm about to go find me some tea. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know, if you're watching this live, inside of my Facebook group. Make sure you leave your questions and comments inside of that thread. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely comment below on um, whatever it is that you like. And I'm sorry I keep saying um so much. I hate that personally myself. But yes, and if you don't have a Facebook business page, make sure you go to my YouTube channel or check the videos, learn how to put it together. And if you want me to, you know, go over it with you, make sure that you have actually set it up first, then turn around and make an appointment with me and we can go ahead and I can walk through some things that you know you might want to change, update or things like that. But other than that, people, have a good Wednesday. It's hump day. Go have fun. Enjoy life and make sure that you smile at somebody. You never know what a smile can do to someone. Have a good day.